Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are here on our supporter server in which we are playing Volcano Block. So, I hope you guys are ready for this, and everyone who is here today, go ahead and say hi. Hi. So, if you yourself are interested in joining the server like everyone else, um, you guys can follow the links down in the description below. I do have a Patreon, and in which you will find all the instructions listed there on the Patreon. Also, I do live stream on Twitch, and uh, if you guys are a Twitch Prime subscription, you do get access to it, or any tier above that also works as well. And uh, we have an awesome community over on the Discord, so be sure to join that Discord. And guys, let's jump right into this. So here we are in this desolate place called a volcano. And actually, it's it's a topography world um, that is technically sort of like a overworld that has been modified to look like the nether. Um, now, you may notice a few things different with my HUD than potentially yours if you're playing long. Um, if we go ahead and hit J, you can open up the menu here that is going to have your mini maps on it. And right here in the mini map, if you have it enabled, it's going to look like this. So what I like to do is go in the options, disable the main mini map, go into mini map preset two, scroll down and change the font to two on this one and the compass font to two, change the heading to my heading. I think it's set to north by default and then change the location to X, Y, Z if to your preference. Um, I prefer the X, Y, Z or the X, uh, yeah, X, Y, Z setup. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And what we can do is instead of having a mini map, which we don't really need in this world, um, I can hit the backslash and it'll pull up a mini map that'll toggle anytime that I really want to have a mini map up in the top right. Um, and that way I can see my coordinates and such. Also, you may notice that my, uh, my information panel up at the top kind of is in a different location than yours. So what you can do is go to, you can just go into the, your chat and type TOP CFG, which is going to open up the one probe config. And from here you can set this to transparent, which is how mine is. And then I always knock the scale down, but you can change this to whatever you feel like you want, or you can leave it there. Also, you can click here to change where you want this positioned uh, on your screen. So that's just a few things that I want to get off the top. Um, also, I did set my quest book to it's a, it's an actual book you can open. Um, I did set mine to a hotkey, so I don't actually need to have this in my hand. So, uh, we'll just go ahead and keep this here for later because we might need it. I don't know. You never know. Actually, we can look because it might be utilized for crafting something later on. You never know. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get on with this. So one of the first things we need to do is start the questing. So it begins. I'm stuck here with nothing but this book and this knife. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I guess now. What is that organ called that you don't need again? Was it the appendix or maybe the pancreas? So yeah, we need to uh, do ourselves some damage. So we have this wooden knife. This is from cannibalism. And uh, what we can do is shift click with it. Yep. And we will get something called player flesh. Now you gotta be careful. I recommend standing in the center of this because it does sort of move you around. And if you continue doing this enough, you will kill yourself. So I do not recommend doing that. Um, you can see the bone mill here. If you hit R while hovering over this, it'll actually pull up JEI so you can see the recipes here. And uh, so what you can do is actually make some bone mill out of that player flesh. Yeah, sounds really gross, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna need some bone mill. And once we do that, we now are tasked and we get some meat kebabs. Um, eaten assigned. Okay, so this is this is also another thing. Um, in this is sort of a spice of life type mod um, that I think adds hearts. The more different, like the, the more foods you eat, more different types of foods you eat, the more hearts I think you can gain overall. Which is going to be very useful in this pack. So now that we have that, we need to figure out how to make a wooden home. So breaking grass, plants, not blocks, will occasionally drop sticks. Ooh, so breaking grass um, will occasionally drop sticks. So we plant our bone mill. We also get, we can also, by the way, use ore excavator. Ah, we get sticks. So yeah, so we can get some sticks every now and then by breaking some grass, which is always gonna be super useful. Now I do have my block sound turned down a little bit because of course lava 
is actually a block and will uh, affect uh, changing that sound variable will uh, affect how the game sounds and how, lo how loud the lava popping is. And it does get pretty annoying after a while, but we're going to fix that potentially later. All right. So we're going to keep doing this, I guess, until we get sticks. So there we go. So we just got three sticks, which means you can craft a hoe, correct? A wooden hoe. And that's one of our quests. Awesome. Now we get some meat patties. All right. So then we have speed crop growth. Hold down shift crouch to accelerate the growth of crops. Hmm. So that should help us grow stuff faster. So if I bone mill this and I hold this down, oh no, we are farting on the crops, aren't we? I think that's what we're doing. Yes, it is. So I'm pretty sure that is from that actual mod that literally is called crop dusting. <laughs> oh goodness. And it actually does work. So we are able to set here with this planted and grow it a little bit faster than normal by, yeah, farting on it. How cool. So after we figure that all out and we get ourselves some stuff, we can manually complete this one and go on to some strange seeds. So we need to get some normie seeds and some artisanal seeds. That's going to grant us some guide to unique crops and a bone mill. So normie seeds. Let's go ahead and take a look at the recipe. So like I said, you hit R over this. And you can kind of see what is a way to get it. And it looks like it's dropped from grass. So I think we might have some on us. We do. So I think just bone milling this a couple more times. Might grant us some more normie seeds. And ow. I think some grass caught on fire, actually. That is not good. Let's eat a meat kebab. Hopefully that's fast enough to... Okay, good. We didn't die. Oh, man. This is dangerous. Super dangerous. All right. So we almost have enough. And there's the normie seeds. And we need artisanal seeds. I think we get those from normie seeds. So we have four of those. I think what we might need to do is to plant some normie seeds. And then crop dust on them and see how fast we can grow these. It looks like this does grow in a radius or so. Okay. We can plant more of these. See how many we can actually get growing. And now this isn't like the uh, the crop mod, like, like the tree growing simulator where you have to constantly right click or constantly uh, smash your shift button. This one you just kind of hold shift down. And just kind of stay in the general area. It looks like it seems to, to grow these plants a little faster. Which is really nice. So we got that which gave us... Oh, it gave us some random seeds. That's really nice. So if we get this one to grow, we can actually make that other seed. Which I think it only needed one, which is an artisanal seed. I believe. Probably smack this with bone mill and that fully grown. There we go. And they give us five. And that'll give us an artisanal seed. Pretty wicked. And it uh, looks like we got some more bone mill and we got a guide to this crop. Now, I'm probably going to need to go over and, and kind of look at this book because there's a lot to this mod. Um, this is a very interesting mod. Uh, so, by Chosen Architect. Yeah, it's definitely not by me. But that's kind of hilarious that it shows that. Um, so, I'm going to have to go through this book. There is a lot of different seeds in here. One of my favorites so far is the Eula crop. It is absolutely awesome. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of different seeds that we're going to go over as we continue playing through here. So we have baked potatoes and we have a crafting station. All right. So baked potatoes, toast the potatoes in the lava for it or toss the potatoes in the lava for a quick swim. Uh oh, is this really going to do this? Wait, wait. How long are they going to stay in there? Oh my. And it's gone. Will it ever come back? No one knows. You know what? 
to this day, the potato was still bouncing around out there. That's what I've heard. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I was afraid of that. Goodbye, long lost potato. It's good knowing you. So, I am a complete and total derp calling these artisanal seeds, whatever I was calling them. Um, it's a treza, is how you actually pronounce this. I am such a derp. Um, but these are actually really unique and can be used for crafting. Um, but also if you break them, they drop a crafting table. Um, and what we're going to need is about nine of them, I believe. Later on down the road, at least that's what the guidebook says, is because you can place them in a nine by nine or a three by three. And uh, it'll actually be a crafting unit. Kind of interesting to think about. Um, but we can go ahead and get our quest complete by making a crafting station. How beautiful. Um, and I think I might collect that. And I, this should not burn, but now we have a crafting station right there, which is going to be beautiful. Um, so, drying basin. It wants us to kind of go along this path and get ourselves an oak bucket, a drying basin, and a hay bale. For what reason? I know hay, hay is going to be pretty easy to get. A drying basin is just some sticks. So we're going to need some more bone mill. An oak bucket is also going to be some more sticks. So, it looks like, you know, kind of hurting herself is going to be a... I think we're going to have to do a lot of and potentially eating some baked potatoes probably going to be a good thing um, now we have a few hearts I have been sitting here growing these um, that potato finally made its way out of here <laughs> it kind of disappeared if you look at these you can see um, it will tell you if you've eaten the food or not so if you have not eaten it it will show but you need to eat more or a lot of different kinds of foods and uh, eventually you will start gaining more hearts, which is really, really nice. So I'm going to keep harvesting these um, because we're going to need some food because I'm going to have to be, you know, damaging myself in order to get some more bone mill and such. Yeah, that's a whole lot of loud. But it does look like once you get these planted, they still remain seeded and growing even on normal dirt. Interesting. So I did find out if you throw this at just the right angle, it will rest on the side and not bounce around everywhere. So it's a lot easier to get yourself some food this way. I mean, if you throw it at just the right angle, it doesn't bounce everywhere. Um, but what I've been working on is going ahead and getting a lot of these uh, crafting tables set up because I think I can use them as building material. Um, I can go ahead and craft these into crafting stations. And what I can do is actually place these on the edge here and build them into, you know, specific things. So I'm kind of curious about doing that. Like if I was to start placing it here, then I could get a nice little area for the, the stuff to not bounce. Um, but I think we're gonna work on getting this quest done right here. So we need the drying basin and a few other materials. To make a drying basin is some sticks so that's the drying basin part we need the buckets which is a oak bucket and then last but not least we are going to need a hay bell in which we got a bunch of hay from the seeds so all of that is done we can complete that get some more bone mill and it says right here putting hay blocks in the drying basin will yield water and then over here it said crafted with wheat wheat can also come from normie crops so we can craft with hay and get ourselves some grass blocks. So that is going to be very helpful because um, it's going to mean we were able to expand our little island here um, just based off of our crops that we're getting. Um, not only that, we could also use normal seeds if we really want to up the production of that as well and produce even more. Uh, but it does seem like the normal normie seeds really do start producing a lot of the uh, materials that we need. Um, so let's go ahead and get ourselves some water, uh, placing down water. It's going to be, it, we're going to have to decide if I place water in this corner, right? In this corner, in this corner, in this corner, we could expand our Island and get a bunch of obsidian here and have an Island that is a little bit bigger. You probably won't hear as much lava and things like that. But keep in mind that the more obsidian we have, the more cleanup we might have to do later when we actually start to expand even though technically I want to take this and go up because I don't want to be down here. I want to, I want to be up a little higher um, to be able to handle a few things later on. So we have an oak bucket. One thing that I probably want to test, well, actually I don't want to do it now because it might catch us on fire. 
Um, I want to try and see if an oak bucket will be able to pick up lava, because if that's the case, then we can just actually build up and we'll be fine and leave a ladder down here when we need to come down here. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we can't come up with. Um, I know the water is going to be easy, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, keep in mind where you place this, we don't have a way of picking it up yet. So I'm going to place it here. I think I might be able to break it by hand. I don't know. An axe looks like it works, but we don't really have available that available yet. So let's go ahead and throw a hay bale in here. And we wait. And actually, I don't know if this makes an entire bucket of water or not. We're going to find out after it is done. Let's see. And also, we while we're waiting on this, we can go ahead and craft a grass block. Oh, it is a whole bucket. Looky there. And I think it gave us some sticks as well. That's interesting. I'm pretty sure there was some sticks left over in there. So we got ourselves a water bucket. Let's also make ourselves another because I do want two full buckets of water. Let's go ahead and do that. And I'm pretty sure I've seen there were sticks left over. Um, so that's also another way to get sticks. I'm going to go ahead and break down all of these lovely crops. We're going to plant down some more normie seeds. Let these bad boys grow, and I'm going to continue doing a little bit more grinding out of these materials. And yeah, it does look like there is a stick in there. Right now we have three. We take that, we get one, so we get an extra stick from this, and we get water. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to continue growing some more of these and see what we can't do. I do want to try and expand this platform. Um, I don't know if I'm wanting to place water on the edges here. That is still an, uh, and I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see. So this is what I've been grinding out. Yes. I now have built out some platforms, which, uh, enables me to grow crops a lot faster. And I did notice that if I'm standing here while I am growing crops, which I just actually removed the crafting table that was here. And I think I need it because it'll provide this with some light because believe it or not, this is actually a transparent block. So these crafting tables, which I'm using right now as chests. So keep that in mind. You can use this as chests. I'm going to go ahead and break this and show you that this does let light through. And I'm pretty sure these are just needing light in order to grow. Yeah. Um, these are doing fine. These have plenty of light on these platforms. It's just the center of this one does not have enough light. So that's why this hasn't grown. Um, anyways. Yeah. I'm using these as chests, which is working out phenomenally. Um, but we need to start moving on into getting some cobblestone. So I have already gotten a lot of these uh, Atresa, uh, Atresa seeds um, that I was I was just using as I was getting these crafting stations. Um, but we need to actually use them to craft. Remember how I mentioned they were actually a crafting recipe? Well, when we look at what we need to make next, which is the Cobblonia seeds. Let's take a look at that. The Cobblonia seeds require the Teresa if I can say that right, a Teresa, um, crafting, uh, setup. So we're going to have to figure out how this actually works. Um, and by reading the book from what it says is like, I can go ahead and clear out an area here with these seeds. And if I place a seed like this all around and then make sure this is the last one to be placed and let these grow then I believe these will let me craft in them. Um, or I might actually need to wait for this one. Let's go ahead and read the book again. Uh, if I can find it, it is in here somewhere or in my inventory. Take a look at this. So this one right here, um, says you'll need nine of them in a three by three square with the center one being grown last. So maybe that, maybe we should just break this one and make sure it is the last that is going to get grown. So I can stand here and let these guys grow up. And I think we can drop the item inside, like on the plant and it'll pick up the item. I'm guessing that's how this works. When these are, when these guys are fully grown. Um, after that, it is just a matter of dropping the desired ingredients on top of the center plant upon which they will automatically try to craft the output once all nine plants have the ingredients. 
So very interesting crafting situation going on here. Um, I must say. So we're going to let all these grow up here. I think these are all almost grown. So I'm going to get that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to plant this one in the center of this. These are all fully grown now, minus these. Put that down there. These are fully grown. This one's almost fully grown. You better grow before this guy grows. Fully grown. All of them are fully grown, minus this one. Let's go ahead and walk around. I don't know if walking around helps the growth, but I do know that the growth is about eight blocks away from you is the range. So that's fully grown, and this will be last. And once that grows to full, there we go, we should be able to throw the ingredients onto the center block. Now, the ingredients are going to require some grass. Let's go ahead and make this. It's going to require four grass blocks and some normie seeds. And apparently it just says throw those normie seeds and that onto the center. So four and five grass. Actually, we need five grass seeds or five grass blocks. Five grass and four normie seeds. Throw that into the center block here. And that should craft our seed, which is then right here. Wow, that was actually pretty cool. Um, so, we can plant that seed now. And I think this is now going to be growing cobblestone for us. How cool is that? And that also completed this, which gives us some more bone mill, which is always nice. And I'm guessing this is one that we have to break. Yep, we have to actually manually break this one in order to get cobblestone. So it looks like we're going to need to gather a bunch of cobblestone. So cobblestone will, uh, or cobblonia will emit cobblestone once it is fully grown and have, okay. And has lava on one side and water on the other side of its dirt patch. Oh, okay. So it needs to have water and lava on. Okay, so lava on one side and dirt on the other. So this is a little bit different. So what we should be able to do for this is actually make ourselves a little setup like this with dirt in the center. Of course, I may move this. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a piece of grass. Plant that there. We can go ahead and do this. Let's get our seed. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't get lava over here. Like I said, I don't know if these buckets work. But there's that. This will pick up lava. Oh, that is good. And we have a charred bucket. But we, we are in... We do have a... There we go. Okay. So apparently when this thing is full grown... It'll just emit cobblestone. Oh, that is awesome. That's that's actually really handy. Now, now that this is charred. Oh, while we hold shift, it does it. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so we can still use this even though it's charred. I'm enjoying this already. Guys, we have cobblestone. We need 64 of it. We get a stone wand. Oh, we're going to get to move from down here on this lava level to somewhere totally different. We can now start to actually expand our platform. Now, given we don't have chisel in here, but cobble. Uh, looks like cobblestone can be used to make stairs. Of course, we can now smelt this stuff. We have access to a, a few more things. Um, it looks like the decorative blocks are probably going to be unlocked later on down the road. We can make some paths. There's probably some interesting things that we can end up doing with this. We can also make some primitive tools, a furnace, and start getting into actual stuff. So, there's our 64. We get a couple of grass blocks. And now we can actually make some chests, get into some tools, and start progressing a little bit further. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play so far of Volcano Block. If you did, 
You guys know what to do. Don't forget to smack that like button if you did enjoy this play uh, playthrough already. Um, and also, you know, click that subscribe button if you're new here and you're just now checking these uh, these videos out. I highly recommend you guys clicking that subscribe button and ringing that beautiful notification bell. Um, also, we have an amazing community over at the Discord, so I do recommend you also joining the Discord. If you've never seen Discord, I highly recommend uh, checking it out as well. Anyways, guys, I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.